besties welcome back to my channel mystic terror here aka mel i hope you're all doing well and having a wonderful day welcome back to another pick a card reading before we get into the reading i want to talk about today's sponsor of the video victor and rolf thank you so much to them for sponsoring this video today so as you guys can see there's already something here and this is the new perfume by victor and rolf that i want to talk about it is called good fortune and as you can see the bottle is kind of inspired by a crystal ball and on top the cap is inspired by amethyst crystal which i absolutely love i love the idea and the message behind this perfume victor and rolf wanted to create a fragrance that kind of expresses modern spirituality okay and the modern mystics and they want this perfume to resonate with people who are discovering themselves, their being, how they want to express themselves. So definitely let me know down below, what is your good fortune? And their motto behind the perfume is, destiny is not a matter of chance, but a matter of choice. The scent is absolutely amazing as well. It is infused with jasmine and vanilla, also a little bit of fennel. It just smells absolutely amazing. It makes me feel good. It makes me feel confident and I can only highly recommend. Victor and Rolf also have made this amazing tarot deck, which I will also be using in today's video. So let me know down below, what is your good fortune and how do you resonate and express your modern spirituality? So thank you guys for listening through that and thank you again to today's sponsors. So now getting into the pick a card reading. Today's reading is going to be about what do they find attractive about you? So the person on your mind, the person you're dealing with, dating, in a relationship with, whoever it is, whoever you're thinking about, what do they truly find attractive about you? Now, if you're not dealing with anyone, then you can just kind of in general think about what do people overall find attractive about you, okay? So pile number one is the Star Power deck with Black Obsidian Crystal. Pile number two is the Good Fortune Tarot deck with Amethyst Crystal and pile number three is the Mystic Mondays Tarot with Green Aventuring Crystal. The timestamps are down below. If you guys would like to book a personal reading from me, you can also book one from me down below. I would love to do one for you guys. Follow me on all my social medias and let's get into the reading. Hi, pile number one. This is if you picked the Star Power Tarot and the Black Obsidian Crystal. So let's see what does the person on your mind find attractive about you, the person you're dealing with, dating, whoever they might be for everyone a little different. Let's see, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, what does pile number one's person find attractive about them? So we have the four of swords. Queen of Pentacles. You guys could be an earth sign or have earth in your chart. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The Queen of Swords. Okay. The Three of Pentacles. So this person, they definitely find you to be, okay, there's a lot of people showing up here as well. They definitely find you to be someone very stable, very grounded, very serious. You have your shit together. You know your worth. You know what you want in life. And that's just very attractive to them. I mean, the queen of pentacles, the queen of swords here, like you also have like different sides to you, but they just really love that you're caring, you're kind, you're nurturing, you're very giving, but you also like don't take shit from anyone. Like you, you stand your ground. Now, again, I know that these are queens that are showing up regardless of gender, even if you're a masculine watching this, it still resonates. Okay, there's no gender in tarot. Um, but yeah, you're, you're someone that doesn't take shit from anyone. You still stand your ground. You put your foot down. You're not afraid to put your foot down and tell people how it is. But you also obviously are like this sweet, caring and nurturing type of person. And they just feel like, you know, 
you you know what you want you 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 know where you're heading in life you have your shit together you 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 have a job you're stable you're financially stable you know you're building something for yourself and and they really love that about you and they just feel like you know you uh you definitely can also tell them off and tell other people off and you know you set those healthy boundaries and and you know what you deserve and what you don't like you're not afraid to tell people off and tell people their opinion uh, your opinion and and just sorry as i was saying you're not afraid to tell people um your opinion and and what you really want right and and they also feel like you know you're someone that maybe you guys like first start off as friends or have built a friendship or you know they definitely feel like they can talk to you they can they can express themselves to you they can be themselves around you like they don't have to be or act some someone else or be someone else and they also like that you're very authentic and you are who you are and who you say you are and you stay like you're you're true to yourself right you're not you don't bullshit you just you say it how it is and this is how i am accept me how i am or don't accept me and that's what they really like and you're definitely also very like chill and down to earth and like easy going like you don't create unnecessary drama you don't you know like want to create fights and drama and make a big scene out of things like you just you know you're you're just the kind of person like look it's your loss if you want to lose me if you want to get out like leave my life i'll hold the door open for you i'm not gonna like beg you to stay or chase you right so in that way you're like you know that everything happens for a reason and that way you're very chill about life and certain situations that happen to you and they really like that um, and, and I feel like they also think you're someone that, you know, even if you've went through things in life or went through difficulties or had certain things that have happened to you that have hurt you, like you don't, you don't let that bring you down. You don't let it, um, affect you. Like you're a very strong person and they really love that, um, that you kind of just, you can get through anything, any obstacle and any challenge in your life that you, you face. Um, and they, they also think that you could be, you're a very creative person. You're a very, um, um, a very uh, yeah creative person you have a lot of creative ideas you have a lot of inspiration a lot of things that you want to do in life you know they maybe you are very creative maybe you're into dancing painting drawing um anything that's like in the creative field designing like they definitely love that about you that you have this creative mind and then whatever you you um want to do you also go after it and then you're not afraid to pursue your passions and your dreams and your desires that you that you have um and uh they definitely um i feel like they also are intimidated about of, uh, of you but in a way that's attractive to them <laughs> like it's like you're intimidating you know and and they know that they're not on your level like they're not on your maturity level like you're definitely more mature and you you know you're this amazing queen of pentacles queen of swords energy like you just like irradiate this energy and exude this strong powerful energy and it's intimidating it's intimidating to them it's intimidating to other people it's intimidating to everyone pretty much um and again you're like you're very nonchalant at times and like you don't entertain people that are just wasting your time and you're not afraid to tell people off right so they definitely um love that they also feel like they don't really have a dull moment or a boring moment with you like they do kind of you know feel like they can always have good times with you then talk to you about anything and everything sometimes they might feel like you can be very serious and that sometimes you should let loose a little bit more um but other than that like they do love that they can just also be serious and that you are serious and mature and you know what you want um we have two fours here so four 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 could be significant number four maybe the month of april as well okay so i'm gonna put this to the side and um, let's see what the oracle cards have to say so you have the king, bear, eos, eos, I don't know how you say that, and mama kocha, if that's how you say it. <laughs> okay, um, let me see if everything's in frame. Okay, let's get into it. So interesting how we hear now we have the king. So some of you could also be masculines watching this, um, males watching this, regardless, it doesn't really matter. Like, again, there's no... No gender we all have masculine and feminine energies so the king man authority male sexual energy things pertaining to the law of justice so this person feels like again you're just definitely this authority figure in a way you're this boss figure in a way some of you could have your own business or, or some or you're in some type of leader position even if you're not you just embody that and you would be good at it right um like you're definitely like this like even in a relationship you would probably be the one that 
um, is in control. Um, not in a, like a, a toxic way, but like you kind of, I don't know, you know, you're, you still say your opinion. You're not the like, type of person to just chase. You're not the type of person to just say yes, yes, yes to everything the other person does. Like you're not a follower, you're a leader. And they love that about you. Like you're definitely in this lone wolf leadership type of energy. Like you're not the type to follow and do what other people do, follow societal standards or just do what everyone else is doing. Like you wanna be your own person and you are your own person. And um, yeah, it's just like this, this it in a way masculine energy. Like you're very tapped into your masculine energy if you're a female, um, like you're this authority figure, boss figure, um, have your shit together, okay? Um, and they really love that about you, okay? Especially if you also have like your own business or something, like they're very attracted to that, that you kind of have that, that thing going for you, that you're doing something on your own and you're pursuing something on your own. Some of you could even maybe work in like the justice system or the law for the law or something, or you're studying for something like that that they also really like that you can just take control and be in control like they definitely like that in in many other ways as well okay <laughs> um so yeah um i'm gonna go next to this one actually so this is goddess um Aeos, or i don't know how you say that i'm sorry i'm for butchering it i'm pretty sure this is a greek goddess um the goddess of light so of course they obviously see you as an absolute goddess or god or whatever they they do like just completely admire you in that way and find you beautiful and physically attractive as well. Um, you know, and just the way you hold yourself and present yourself is also really attractive to them. And I feel like, you know, they, they again, you're this type of person that regardless of how bad the situation is, like you're, you kind of see the light at the end of the tunnel. Like you, you, of course, you know, something can happen to you and it's, it's shitty and it hurts and stuff like that, but you're not going to stay stuck in this pessimistic energy. Like you're the type of person to easily get out of it and think optimistically again and think positively and try to see the positive in every bad situation. Like you always want to see the positive in people you want to see the good in people and good in any situation and they really like that about you that you're not like a pessimistic negative nancy all the time like you you're positive you're joyful you're motivating and and that brings that into their life as well so if they're someone that's rather pessimistic or or very negative or like everything that goes wrong it like completely brings them down you're that light in their life and you kind of bring that positivity and that optimism again into their life because you know some people are just always very pessimistic and then they always like if, if something goes wrong it's like the end of the world i mean of course there are horrible things that happen to us but you know you're the type of person to still like push through it and see like okay this happened for a reason and and you know something better is gonna come my way like you have a very optimistic mindset which they maybe kind of lack so you give that that optimism to them and they really love that like you're this light in their life you see the light at the end of the tunnel and you also radiate this beautiful energy like your aura is beautiful you radiate a beautiful energy maybe some of you even know what your aura color is um if you do like i'm kind of sensing like green or yellow um maybe also orange um but even if you don't know what your aura color is it's fine <laughs> um but yeah you just radiate like when someone maybe people have told you that before like when you walk somewhere you go get walk into a room like you radiate this beautiful energy you radiate this light you radiate this positivity like you just radiate like you light up the room in a way and some people just have that magnetic energy and that's what you have and this person sees that and they love that about you like you're just this showstopper beautiful positive vibrant energy and um to them it's just like absolutely amazing and like they couldn't ask for anything more and and they're not the type of person to be jealous if you get like a lot of attention from other people or whatever like they would be proud to be like that's my person that's my girlfriend that's my boyfriend whatever right okay moving on to the other goddess here um number 33 could be significant again um maybe 333 um we also have a three here so definitely strong threes um angel number 333 maybe the month of march so we have mama kocha if that's how you say it. i'm butchering all these names i am sorry mama kocha the goddess of water <clears throat> so she's an incan goddess um by the way 
So this is like someone that is very in tune as well with their feelings and their emotions. Some of you could have water in your chart, um, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, like a water sign somewhere. Um, some of you could also feel very close to the water, um, to the sea, to the ocean, to the lake. You maybe feel very connected to water, bodies of water, um, live by the water, by the ocean, or you really want to. Maybe you'd love to swim. Maybe just something about water is significant to you, the sea, the ocean, okay? But yeah, um, this is pretty much like talking about fluid water bodies of water and emotion like you're not afraid to show your feelings and emotions you're not afraid to be an emotional being like water like emotions flow through you like you embody emotion you embody feelings you embody that and you're not afraid to show how you truly feel you're not afraid to be vulnerable and and you know put it all out there tell someone how you feel about them and just express yourself and from true vulnerability and they really love that about you because um, they maybe struggle to be emotional. They maybe they might struggle to be an emotional being to express their feelings and emotions. But you've kind of reached that that stage in your life where you're not afraid to express yourself and be that emotional person and say how you truly feel. And it's like what they love is like you can be this serious, stern person and tell people off and be this authority figure but you can also be this beautiful emotional caring kind and nurturing person that does so much for other people right and that's why you have like this duality to yourself and it comes down to how people treat you and that's how you treat them but you're just so you're just like this beautiful like emotional loving light in people's lives some of you might even work with people or like you're required to um i don't know work with children or you work with whatever work with people if that's a psychologist a nurse a teacher or or something where you influence other people positively even if that's not your work it's just something that you're very good at you're just like this naturally caring type of person um and they really love that okay um now moving on to the bear here um earth energy so some of you could be an earth sign or have earth in your chart somewhere um taurus virgo capricorn again with the queen of pentacles so there is some earth energy here so um you know earth signs are also very grounded very stable very secure um, um energies so you know you kind of embody that as well <clears throat> Some of you might also love to be in the nature, in in the in the in nature, and then forests, and in, in the in the greenery. You just love to be in nature around. Again, maybe water. Okay, you might feel very connected to nature, as well as what I'm hearing. Sorry, guys, I got interrupted. So, like I was saying. Um, it's also crazy that the bear kind of came out because I'm seeing this as like the typical mama bear and that makes a lot of sense with the queen of pentacles because she's kind of like that mama bear that that motherly figure as well like maybe sometimes you're also you also feel like you're the mom in the friend group and you kind of take care of everybody else and you're just like you know having to like look after everyone or you're just like the best listener you're just the most mature and and that's what this person loves like you're just I guess a lot of people um, also misunderstand bears and they always think they're these malicious, horrible creatures or mean and malicious. But, you know, that's not necessarily the reality and they can be very gentle and tolerant animals. And, and you know, these mother bears are so affectionate, protected, uh, protective and, and, and devoted to the people that they love. And that's how they kind of see you like you're very loyal, very devoted, protective of the people that you care about and love your parents, your family, your friends, your partners. Um, and you're like this typical mama bear maybe some of you also already have children and and you know they love that you have this strong bond to your children um and they just see you as that empress that motherly figure um or fatherly figure by the way i'm sorry um and if even if you don't have children it doesn't matter you just like are that that mom <laughs> um you feel like a mom sometimes maybe and again very empathetic and then you're just a very social, joyful, happy person. And, and you're just like, you know, you care so much about other people. And then they love that about you. It's just, um, uh, and I feel like you have this, this gentleness to you again, like this emotional side, like you're very gentle with people and, and listen to others and, and are willing to listen to others. And again, not just like lash out or fight, like you're here, you're here to listen. And that's why some of you could be in a field, working in a field where that, where it requires you to again, take care of people, children, disabled people, whatever it is, psychologist, therapist, nurse, 
Even if that's not what you do, maybe you've done it before, maybe you want to do it, maybe you just do social work, whatever it is, like you just have that natural ability. You would be good at it if you've been thinking about changing a career path, you would be good in a path where you have to look towards, take care of other people, influence other people, be there for other people, okay? So that's really um, what they love and it's such a beautiful energy, like even I'm feeling so content and happy, I'm like wow there's such a nice radiant beautiful energy so I love that for you guys um, and, and that's what they love and that's what they find so attractive about you, okay pile number one. So that's kind of what I have for you, um, if you made it this far, comment down below a bear emoji, I would love to know, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, if you guys are interested in purchasing also the Victor and Rolf um, perfume i will link it down below as well um and my personal readings are down below and everything else that you may need i love you and i will see you in my next video bye hi pile number two this is if you picked the good fortune tarot by victor and rolf and the amethyst crystal so let's see let's see what does this person find attractive about pile number two your person, the person on your mind. Oh my gosh, too many cards. So we have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Six of Cups. We have the Ace of Swords. the fool we have the eight of swords and we have the two of cups and the two of swords oh wow pile number two okay interesting let's get into this so This person, or first of all, some of you could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, have it in your chart. It doesn't have to be, okay? I just mentioned the sign sometimes. Um, this person definitely, they really love you, okay? So I don't know if you're dating this person or you're in a relationship already or getting to know them or someone involved with them. Some of you could already have history with this person, but there's a lot of love here. They see you as that person they want to be with, that person they could have a relationship with, that person they want to be committed to, if not already. Um, and they, they see you as someone very fun, exciting, young at heart, okay? Um, in a way, a young soul. Um, you are very adventurous, spontaneous, fun, okay? They can do a lot of fun things with you and, and you're always ready for up for an adventure. You're always ready to go out and do things and you're motivated and you're 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 just ex an excited, fun person, okay? And um they they definitely see you also as someone very stable, secure, okay, you you know what you want, you're you're busy, you work hard for whatever you're trying to achieve in your life and whatever you're working on. And um and they definitely want like some type of new beginning here with you. Like they want to pursue this connection. They want to be with you. Okay. Um, so they definitely feel very connected to you. Some of you have a past life connection with this person. They feel that you guys have a past life connection with them. They, they feel like they've known you all their life, even if they haven't. Right. There's this strong strong tie um, maybe again some of you do have history and a past with this person but um they also just find that they can be themselves around you and this there's this light-hearted childish energy not that you are childish necessarily but it's like you know when you're in love and you're a child and you're like in love or have a crush and it's just like so fun and there's like not a care in the world and that's how they kind of feel with you they kind of feel that that fun energy, that that lighthearted energy. Not everything has to be so serious. Like with you, they can just have fun and then let loose and then, you know, and then just not take everything so seriously. And that's what they really love. And the connection is very lighthearted and fun. And like you guys are like little children again, in love and crushing on each other. Like that's kind of how they feel. 
and they really love that and then you might feel the same way okay and they feel that strong connection with you two number two could be significant two 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 month of february may be okay they, they feel that strong connection with you they feel a certain soul tie they see you as their soulmate that that person they can be with and have a long-term commitment with and they want that as well right but sometimes they tend to overthink and get all up in their head and they're confused and they don't know how you feel and you don't know how they feel and there's not enough clarity in the situation but they want to bring in that clarity they want to bring in that communication they want to bring in that 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 heart to heart and tell you how they feel and what they want okay and and i feel like they they love that they can invest in you and put in time and effort and you give that same effort back you know it's reciprocated and you're willing to put in the effort you're willing to also be with them or show them the love that they give you and that it's not wasted time and wasted energy and that you're willing to communicate you're willing to work on things with them and that you have clear communication and you know how to communicate as well sometimes they do feel like you tend to overthink or you get all up in your head and you get stressed easily for things that are maybe not the reality and you kind of <laughs> worry too much or get anxious easily maybe some of you struggle with anxiety or depression or just like overthinking a lot and have a lot of fears or maybe fears from past relationships and situationships or stuff like that they are they're they they're here to help and they're here to be with you and they're here to um work with with you work together with you um and they don't want you to be fearful or scared of the relationship or the connection and they don't want you to overthink too much right but they're kind of also here in your life to kind of bring you that peace and vice versa they feel at peace with you and that's again another thing they love like even you know they they don't care if how much you overthink and how much you're stressed and worried like they're here to always reassure you and give that reassurance and they're not going to get annoyed by you if you tend to overthink or get worried or stressed or have trust issues like maybe you've dealt with people in the past that got mad at you for worrying or overthinking but this person's not like that they're not gonna get mad they're just gonna be supportive and they're gonna reassure you and, and they're here for you okay and then they think it's cute when you're overthinking or jumping to conclusions it's not like they get annoyed or angry okay so i'm gonna put this to the side and let's get the oracle cards so i have letting go Cobra, oh, Goddess Mayu, and Goddess Green Tara. Okay, something like I just suddenly heard out of the blue. Some of you could have like Asian, Asian ethnicity, like Asian. Um, of course, Asia is huge, right? But just like you could be like mixed Asian or like ethnicity ancestors something like that that's just like a side message that i heard they love that though if you like are asian and have like asian culture they love your culture and they're really attracted to that as well if they're not from that culture or you guys just have completely different cultures even if it's not asian like maybe you have a different ethnicity and they have a different ethnicity but they're like very willing and open to learn about your ethnicity and your culture and your upbringing like i feel like you guys might have different upbringings or cultures or something like that and it's kind of new territory for them but they are still like intrigued by it okay um so let me start here with letting go number 44 444 could be significant angel number 444 um maybe the month of april okay so yeah i feel like uh, you're someone that you know you don't hold on to grudges you're not someone that you know you're you're someone that is open to just like letting go of situations and people and things you're not like holding grudges or holding on to unnecessary things that no longer serve you if that's a person a situation a thing that happened in the past like you don't constantly want to dwell on it and and bring it up again even if it's with this person specifically like you just kind of are very easygoing and, and going with the flow, right? And, and you're the type of person to just be like, okay, whatever, that happened and I'm going to move forward and it happened for a reason and I'm not going to hold on to it forever. Like you're you're just someone that 
not that like you just don't care about anything. It's just like you're not going to waste your time also on people or th situations that just take your energy and, and not give you energy. And they love that because you're not the type of person to like, you know how a lot of people are so hung up on an ex or hung up on their past and that can then cause issues. Like you're not the type of person to still be like, oh, I'm still hung up on my ex and this and that. Like, yes, you might have a little bit of past trauma and you just tend to overthink at times, but it's like you're not holding on to anything from your past and you easily let go of things and and um grudges and you don't have like hatred and resentment towards people like you just like you know you forgive heal and release and you just like wish people love and you move on with your life kind of and, and that's what they really um they really do also love about you okay um so let's move on to um i'm gonna move on to the cobra energy here so cobra here fire sign energy some of you could have fire in your chart um aries leo sagittarius doesn't have to be um okay so with the cobra energy here i do feel like cobras technically you know they can be obviously uh, aggressive or whatever but that's really ne only ne when they're like provoked right if you would provoke a cobra a snake in general um but like otherwise they can be like quite shy and and reserved or like rich like reclused and re like retreat easily so you know i feel like again you have that side to you where you're fiery and you're passionate and you're an adventurous and you're spontaneous and and stuff but you also have like maybe maybe you're like a little bit more of a shy and reserved person like maybe you're not a huge extrovert you know um maybe you rather like to be alone and be alone at home and you like to do your own thing not that you're like completely introverted and don't isolate yourself or talk to anyone but it's just like i feel like you also love your alone time and you like to be alone and independent and that's what they like about you because you're a very independent person so you're not like codependent on people you don't rely on other people you don't rely on a on a man on a woman on a you know someone on anyone like you're just an independent and they love that about you um it's like i'm not it's not necessarily like that you're the leader of the pack but it's just like you just do your own thing in a way and you, you don't need to look at other people what they're doing and and it's just like you have this this vibe to you and it's it's like you don't need to be very expressive about it like you're just naturally like that you don't need to go around and tell everyone oh i'm this and i'm that like you just exude that energy right and then i just feel like when someone pushes your buttons like it takes a lot for you to get angry or it, t it takes a lot for you to get mad at someone or something and someone really has to provoke you and push your buttons and like push you to that extent for you to get mad and then you get mad <laughs> right but otherwise you never create drama or like unnecessary like you try to avoid conflict i feel like you're not a confrontational person and they like that that you're not easily the one to create drama and stress and worries and like all this like chaos like you just like you're not a drama queen in a way um and you just kind of do your own thing but if you provoke if you get provoked then you can like get mad like you still have your own opinion and you stand to your opinion and i feel like once you open your mouth you have like like your words hurt your words sting right you know how some people are just like they know what exactly to say to like get to you and, and i feel like you're that type of person like you exo exactly the perfect insult the perfect comeback you're like look if you're gonna fuck with me <laughs> if you're gonna mess with me i have the right words to say to you right so then you sting then your words can really sting and hurt right and like i'm like that type of person like i'm chill i'm easy but if you like piss me off like i can like come up with the best shit to like drag you down like i have the best you know like just like the words that you guys say can sting and it hurts and it gets to people but you only do that if you really get provoked or angry if someone provokes you first like you're not the type of person to create a fight create drama or provoke someone it's only if someone does that to you right so that's really the vibe that i'm getting so it's like you're like this low-key badass you know like you're like that cobra energy that fire energy comes out when it's supposed to come out at the right freaking time right <clears throat> and then that's what they kind of they find that attractive because like it's a side that not everybody sees but like when you see it um it's like oh okay <laughs> so um let's oh this is not mayu it's matsu it's like looks like a freaking um w but it's actually a z 
Anyways, so this is um, goddess Matsu, the goddess of ascension. She's um, a Chinese goddess. That's why I was also kind of getting that whole Asian vibe because even this one is um, of Asian descent. So um, she is uh, the goddess, I think, of the sea, right? Um, and Or the goddess also of ascension. And uh, But she's definitely known as like a sea deity, a sea goddess, Um in, in you know the asian southeast asia and stuff like that could be someone that is maybe very close to family or to nature as well kind of like pile number one someone you can feel very connected to the nature to the sea stuff like that doesn't have to be some of you might resonate with chinese culture um that's just a side message even if you don't that doesn't mean this pile isn't for you <laughs> okay um but yeah the chinese um goddess matsu also kind of you know moves you towards like nature uh, moves you towards the balancing of masculine and feminine energies and in our personalities you know and she kind of is a um is someone that you know makes you integrate everything mind body and spirit and i feel like they this person you're dealing with they find that you're someone very like spiritual very you're very ascended like an ascended master in a way like Maybe you are very spiritual, okay, it's just spirituality. Even if you're not, like, you're very wise. Okay, you have, like, a lot of experience, maybe, um, in life. I dealt with a lot of things, a lot of situations. Like, even if you're young, in a way, you know, like, you feel you're very wise, in a way. And, um, and that's what this person really loves about you. Like, you have this, I feel like some of you are just also very, like, intellectual and intelligent. How, like... A lot of knowledge about certain things or just like random things um and they're just like how do you know that like you're just very intellectual and they feel like you have like you just can talk about anything and everything and you have like you love to have deep conversations with people and you really like to get to the core of people and get to know people for who they truly are and not surface level and that's what they sorry that's what they really love that you're like want to get to know them want to get to know people and that you are very you're a very deep person in general like there's depth to you and um yeah they just feel like you're very highly intellectual highly spiritual connected to the universe in a way that ascended master like i said um so yeah some of you could like be into spirituality practice spirituality even if you're not you just kind of have that vibe that have that energy to you and and they like that you know you're just kind of you can talk about anything and everything, the stars, the planets, the universe, like you love to have those like deep conversations, okay? So now with goddess um, Green Tara, the goddess of salvation, number 18 could be significant, the 18th of a month. So I really feel like, so she's a, she's a Tibetan goddess, so again, like that whole like Asian vibe that I was kind of picking up on in the beginning. Um, so she's, you know, a very compassionate, loving, caring type of energy again and, and um i feel like you're that type of person that's also you're just like there for the people that you love like you're a true friend you're a true lover you're a true loyal um person and um you're just like this i feel like you have this energy to you where you just like kind of like pal number one this loving caring energy of course we all have a loving caring side i guess but with you it's like you have that very spiritual vibe that very healing energy right so this person feels like in a way you saved them or you save other people it sounds like stupid but it's like you have that healing energy to you that healing aura that healing vibe i mean look at all this light that she's surrounded in you know and that that salvation energy so yeah, maybe you found this person when they were going through a tough time and you kind of saved them, got them through a lot of shit. Um, or maybe currently or or just other people in your life, you know, friends, family, like you're always like that that hero, that savior, that one that listens, the one that has the best advice, the one that knows what how you can solve the problem and has a solution to everything. And maybe some of you work with people where you're required to save lives or you're required to help people in a way if that's a doctor or a nurse or a, I don't freaking know what, a firefighter. But, you know, even if you're not, you just have that natural healing energy to you and they love that because you're just so, you just radiate that beautiful energy. And, um, 
you know, you've also gotten yourself out of a lot of shit and a lot of challenges and a lot of obstacles and, and you kind of always pulled yourself out of it. You didn't need anyone else. So in that way, you're very strong. Maybe you went through a lot in life and this person sees that, recognizes it, and they love that you went through so much and you're still such a positive, loving, caring energy and you see the positive in everything and you're willing to help other people get through their issues and their problems, okay? So yeah, that's what I'm kind of seeing for you, pile number two. So um, yeah, if you made it this far, comment down below a snake emoji. I hope it resonated and you enjoyed. Give this video a thumbs up if you did. Um, yeah, uh, my personal readings are down below if you would like to book one from me. Everything else is also down below. I love you and I will see you in my next video. Bye. This is if you picked the Mystic Mondays Tarot and the Green Aventuring Crystal. Let's move the other one away. <laughs> okay, so let's see. What does um, this person find attractive about you? This person on your mind? The person that you're dealing with? What do they find um, attractive? Let's see. Pile number three. What do they find attractive about pile number three? Spirit, third person. We have the Princess of Swords, also known as the Page of Swords. We have the Two of Swords. We have the Tower. The Lovers. The Hierophant. The Ace of Cups and the Six of Swords on the bottom. Okay, okay, let's see. Pile number three. So some of you could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, have it somewhere in your chart, um, doesn't have to be. So there's also, also three major arcanas here. So this person I feel like they see you to be someone very um, logical, analytical, very um, intellectual, okay? You have a lot of um, ideas. Some of you might have studied a lot. Maybe you guys like to read, um, educate yourself about a lot of topics and things. Some of you could still be studying. Um, you just are very intellectual and intelligent and um, and they really love that about you like you're, you just have also a lot of creative ideas a lot of ideas that you want to you know put out there put in the world create things do things start things um, you know maybe you have a lot of hobbies a lot of passions a lot of things you do on a daily basis you know have a lot of skills and then they love that they're they're very attracted to that definitely as well <clears throat> and with the lovers they're also very passionate they're very attracted to you okay sexually physically they find you very beautiful very um loving and caring and nurturing and and um they feel a strong strong draw uh, like connection and they're very drawn to you and they feel like you they can be vulnerable with you and they love that like you're not afraid to be vulnerable and emotional but you can also be very logical and analytical and rational maybe some of you have a rather lo a logical mind um and you like to use your logic more than your emotion um and i feel like yeah, some of you could like still be studying or you guys like are a teacher or you have teached before or you uh, want to teach or you're just a mentor a teacher like teaching can be into many different ways right you could just be like a mentor a coach or something like that um or you you want to be or you have been before that just is something you could be very good at um they do feel like you're someone that people can learn a lot from even if you have never taught anything in your life like you're just someone that has again a lot of wisdom a lot of intellectual intellect um intelligence and people can learn a lot from you and they might have also learned a lot from you as well and they really like that because you just have that like I don't know that that energy where people learn and pe you're like you're like full of knowledge like your brain is full of knowledge okay and then you're just like even random things like general knowledge everything right so yeah um and uh they just feel like a lot of people can learn things from you you have a lot of wisdom and experience and people should listen to you and they even like to listen to you like they know that you're always going to be right maybe you're the type of person you're like look i'm right I'm always right. <laughs> and they're like, yes, you're right. You're always right. <laughs> they just agree with you. They don't feel like bothering. They don't even bother discussing. They're just like, yeah, okay, pile number three, they're always right. Like, that's just how it is. They're right. And then, <laughs> um, 
but they, they they don't take it in a bad way like they just think it's kind of funny you know like because you're just like sometimes maybe a little bit of a know-it-all but that's okay um <laughs> but yeah they definitely have a lot of love for you there's a lot of feelings a lot of emotion a lot of depth here a lot of a lot of deep feelings okay they and they love that because they can be that they they can have that with you be with you they can have that love with you share that love with you have this connection with you they definitely want if you're like not in a relationship where you or like just dating or whatever like they want to pursue this connection but sometimes they might just be a little confused about what you want and maybe not so clear because maybe you're a little more logical and rational quick drink break sorry yeah maybe sometimes you're a little more logical and then you're you don't always always show your feelings it really has to be the right person for you to be vulnerable and open up emotionally um uh, but yeah, they still they still feel very um, drawn to you and attracted to you, and I feel like one of you is just more logical and one's maybe a little more emotional, but it like balances itself out really well. Um, and I feel like um, they think you're someone that is you know in a way very even if you're young, still young or younger than them, like you're very grounded, stable. Um, but the thing is, maybe sometimes the way you handle things would be different than they would handle things. And that could maybe cause like conflict or confusion between you guys. Like you guys maybe like deal with things differently, express yourselves differently, um, communicate differently or have different opinions on certain things. Nothing like drastic, but it's just like there's a difference there. But it's nothing bad or it doesn't bother them necessarily. But it's like you guys need to sometimes get on the right page. And, and then again, when... You know that there's a communication issue that like they're like hmm is this going to work out <laughs> but regardless because they love you or have such deep feelings for you they don't really care right and um i feel like there's someone they what they like about you as well like regardless of you maybe went through a lot in your life or experienced a lot of tower moments or when you go through something shitty like you kind of still stand tall and and you know regardless of how much the world is trying to bring you down you you still stand tall through it and you don't let it bring you down you don't let it break you and they really like that you know because you're you're like so grounded and you're like look it's gonna be fine like let's move on and let's let's look forward and um you also could be very spiritual or or traditional as well maybe you're religious or or whatever you believe in like they do um have probably the same values as you or whatever you do believe in they're open to believing it or to listen to you like let's say you're into astrology and tarot and and the stars and all that like they're not like closed off and they they love that you have interest for many different things many different cultures many different things like your beliefs like you're also open to listening to other people and get to know other different cultures and people like they're not um refrained or they're not um they're like they're not uh, against it like they want to listen they want to they want to hear what you have to say and they're open to spirituality they're open to astrology they're open to whatever your religions or beliefs are maybe you guys have come from completely different backgrounds and completely different religions uh, or have different values but that's fine because it works because they're open and you're open and they love that about you as well okay and whatever your beliefs are or your traditions and your stuff like they they love it they want to get to know your culture they want to get to know your beliefs okay so with the oracle cards we have joy we have um goddess Kuan Yin, <laughs> the tiger and um goddess Ara arakura if that's how you say it they always have these names and i just don't know how to say it and i'm sorry if i'm butchering it i really truly am <clears throat> okay so i love this joy card here number 37 so this person just loves that you're like such a joyful person like i feel like you're the sun this radiate radiate positivity and and joy and and happiness and you're just always like happy you're always in a good mood like it's rare people rarely see you in a bad mood and if you're having a bad day or you're going through shit you kind of keep it to yourself you don't like to get other people involved you don't want to bring other people down you're someone that keeps or bottles up your feelings a lot to yourself and you don't always want to express yourself and, and you know you just kind of keep it to yourself but but they like that you're just this joyful fun radiant person and expressive and and just this sun this light <laughs> and and you're always kind of positive or you're always in a good mood you know you're always up to for an adventure you're always up to do something you're always ready to go and 
motivated and passionate and whatever you go to the gym you do this you do that you have your passions your hobbies and you're you're motivated to do it you get up in the morning whatever it is like they love that about you that you have that that joy that passion in life you're you see life in a positive way and you're you're not judgmental you don't judge people you're open to everyone and everyone every culture every whatever right I mean everyone should be like that but you know what I mean they just love that about you that you're so open-minded and And you're just a joyful person. I'm also hearing that they love your smile. You have a beautiful, beautiful smile. Um, Maybe that was one of the first things they noticed about you and they really love it. Maybe they've told you before. They love your teeth. They love your smile. You just radiate this beautiful, joyful energy. Very cute, fun. I don't know. Some of you might have dimples as well is what I'm hearing. So you guys, um, maybe they really love your dimples as well. Um, So here we have goddess Arakura, if that's how you say it. I really should. I think it's Arakura. I think you should. I should Google these things before I do these readings. Um, Anyways, so um, yeah, Arakura is is, is a Celtic and um, Germanic goddess, I'm pretty sure. Um, And she's kind of also this like uh, earthy energy as well, kind of also this like mystical fairy vibe also that I'm kind of getting and um you know I feel like you're someone that's very patient you're a very patient person and they love that you're very patient like you can listen to people you're just listening if someone has an issue you're just there to listen you can just listen and listen in silence you're patient you're understanding you're very caring some of you very into nature maybe you love nature gardening flowers plants okay I'm getting more of like earthy vibes not water as much but more like plants nature gardening whatever stuff like that some of you could be into cooking baking um stuff like that they love that that you that you're interested in these things that you do these things okay maybe you're a good cook or something like that a good baker (laughs) is what i'm hearing um you're just this very like you know i'm literally seeing a fairy like you're just like this fairy energy like regardless of gender like (laughs) i mean there's also masculine male fairies right um and you just like i also feel like you smell really good they love you you always like there's some perfume they really love and you smell really good you might like like um like floral scents like roses floral like scents you might like that a lot and they're kind of um they love that and you always smell really good but yeah you just um kind of remind them of this like fairy um florally bubbly person like i'm really getting that energy you're very bubbly as well um and and you're someone that yeah you're not you're never in a rush you just take day by you just live day by day you take things day by day you're 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 go you go with the flow you're patient and they love that you're you have goals you have things that you want you fix face challenges but you're you're not like gonna stress about it you just kind of accept things the way they are okay and you're just like this very like mystical being like you bring this like this like magical energy into their life and um yeah that's kind of what i'm feeling here okay (laughs) then um let's move on to the tiger first so fire energy you could also have fire in your chart um sun moon rising venus uh, aries leo sag it doesn't have to be um yeah some of you also feel very connected to the moon some of you might have like a moon tattoo or want a moon tattoo or something about the moon or the stars astrology maybe could be significant to you guys as well um but yeah tiger energy i love this very passionate fiery as well you guys do have that side to you you know they see you as this like very um strong person um, independent um have a lot of willpower you have a lot of um strength a lot of courage a lot of ambition a lot of drive okay You can be very protective as well over the people that you love. And again, you're very spiritual. You know, your third eye is opened or you're trying to open your third eye. You're just very connected to the universe, spirituality, to the, to whatever you believe in. Again, whatever your beliefs are, you're definitely like vibrating high. You're on a high vibration. Maybe some of you might meditate or whatever it is, right? Um, You're just very connected to the spiritual realm as well. You're you're a great manifester. You're a pro-manifester. You're manifesting like ease. Um, And again, this is like this magical energy. Like you're a very magical, mystical being. um, and, And they really love that. They're very attracted to that as well. Okay. And, and I feel like you guys, um, 
you just um even if you're not like a leader or something but you're just like this very strong and independent person um which they do truly love mm. but you're also very intense like you're you're intense you know like again those deep conversations those like you like to go in depth and you and you know sometimes maybe the things you talk about can be overwhelming or like you have so much knowledge or you have like so much depth so much depth to you that it's like overwhelming or it's like intense you know but they love it but you also have a sensitive and emotional side i mean tigers you know we always portray them oh my god they're so like strong and this and that and scary or whatever but you know they are also sensitive and, and emotional and they have they are capable of amazing deep c capable of deep love and and i feel like that's what they we love about you and it's like once you love you love very deeply like you don't easily fall in love you don't easily just love someone but once you fall you fall very hard once you love someone you love very deeply and you would do anything for that person and that's what they really love with that tiger energy as well and you can be you know a protective you can be territorial you could be maybe a little p possessive but not in a in a toxic way but when you care about someone you love someone you're protective over them if that's a friend a family a, a boyfriend a girlfriend it doesn't matter okay but i i just feel like you you you're powerful you're tough you're a bad bitch and you still have that emotional side to you and then they they are honored to be able to see both sides but when you when you do something it's very intense it's it's always intense like if you love it's intensely it's deeply if you if you pursue a career it's it's with all your might and all your passion and all your desire and you do it intensely if you start a business with all of your passion and ambition and like everything you do is with in, with intensity with passion with drive like you don't do things half ass you when you do something you do it and you go for it and you do it and you love it and whatever it is right so that's what they really love because there's just this intense energy this this is just like and it can be overwhelming for some people you know some people are like jesus like that's intense some of you could also be born in the year of the tiger now sadly i know i cannot tell you wait actually i can i know that 1998 is the year of the tiger the chinese year of the tiger 1962 is also the year of the chinese uh, tiger um sadly that's all i know you have to google it if you don't know um but yeah you could be born in the the year of the tiger um uh, in chinese uh you know astrology or zodiac whatever um, so yeah, um, moving on, last card is the Quan Yin, the goddess Quan Yin, number 27, the goddess of compassion, number 27 could be significant, maybe the month, uh, the 27th of a month. Okay, so again, you're compassionate, you're loving, you're caring, right? Um, sometimes I feel like you could be a perfectionist as well, <laughs> maybe a little bit too much of a perfectionist, and they're like, it's okay, you don't have to do everything so perfect, but they think it's kind of cute when you want to perfect everything sorry um but yeah i do feel like you can be sometimes a little bit harsh of on yourself right like you're maybe not like necessarily sorry guys i got interrupted but yeah i feel like sometimes you can be a little harsh on yourself and you're a little bit like strict with yourself like there's nothing wrong with that like being like responsible or whatever but it's like maybe sometimes you're a little too harsh on yourself or you always have very high expectations of yourself and then if you don't achieve something or something goes wrong you kind of like bring yourself down or bully yourself in a way and and they want you to know that that's not necessary you're so perfect you're so amazing you've achieved so much right so like not to be too harsh on yourself but they like that you're so disciplined they like that you're so you know that you do do the things and you put the you do things that you set your mind to and you don't give up easily but you know you don't also need to be so harsh on yourself and maybe sometimes show more compassion to yourself as well but in general you're just such a compassionate and caring person and sometimes they feel like you should give that love and compassion that you give to others more to yourself like you're very selfless and and they they love that they're attracted to that they love that about you but they also want you to be more compassionate to you and to yourself because that's important that we love ourselves and talk positively about ourselves and, and bring ourselves up as well right but again you're just like show so much love and care and kindness to other people you're very selfless you know the type of person to just like do things random acts acts of kindness you know bring someone their favorite drink bring someone on a coffee like you just think about the little little things like you know maybe give someone uh, money on the street or whatever you're just like a very caring person helping animals stray animals whatever it is like you're just so you do have this like heart of gold and they love that about you 
Some of you, they also really love your hair. I'm hearing they love your hair. You might have very long, flowy, beautiful hair if you're a woman. Okay, they do truly love your hair. Even if you're a man, the, this person might also really love your hair. Something about your hair is significant. They might have told you that before. Um, but yeah, you're just, uh, you have a heart of gold and they truly love that. You're just uh, a loving, caring soul and that's what they... Uh, and they, ha they just are very attracted to that, okay? So, um, yeah, that's what I have for you, pile number three. Um, I really hope this resonated. If you made it this far, comment down below a tiger emoji. I would love to know. Um, give this video a thumbs up as well if you enjoyed. Um, if you want to support me in other ways, you can book a personal reading from me down below. I would love to do one for you. I love you, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!